Hi guys, HT Movies here. Today I will show you a horror thriller movie from 2011, titled 247 Degrees. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. At the beginning of the movie, we are introduced to a woman named Jenna, and her fiancé Jamie who are on their way back home after having dinner with their parents. Just then, Jenna finds herself in a car crash, Jamie appears to have died on the spot, Jenna was also very depressed because she had lost her future husband. Three years later, while dealing with this trauma, Jenna is invited on a day out with her best friend, Renee. The to join Ian at his lakeside cabin along with Renee's boyfriend, Michael. Renee asks Jenna what she thinks about Ian, as she thinks that he is kind and cute. Jenna just smiles and changes the topic to her photos taken on the lake. Just then the four get on a boat and head to a cabin located on the edge of the lake. They meet with Wade, Ian's uncle, and Bo, the friendly dog at the cabin. Wade quickly gets to know Ian's friends as they take shots. Jenna however, refuses to drink and decides to go inside for a rest. They're planning for a big party on a festival near the cabin, and the tickets are on generous uncle Wade. After settling in the cabin, Renee and Michael head upstairs for a little fun. Ian and Jenna share a beer while listening to some music. At night, the friends enjoy a cozy dinner with Wade. After that, Wade says goodbye and wishes the group a good time at the festival. He mentions that he may not be around as he has work to do during the festival. Later, Ian suggests spending the first night of the cabin instead of going to the festival. Ian reveals that Wade has built a new European-style sauna. While everyone seems excited about it, Jenna appears to be worried. Renee consoles are saying that they'll go to the party, if she doesn't feel comfortable at the sauna. Jenna explains that she's afraid of tight spaces now since having the accident. Jenna decides not to take the PTSD pills when she relied on after the accident allowing her to have fun, and to let go. Jenna finally makes it to the sauna with the others. Seeing that Jenna is uncomfortable and stressed due to the overwhelming heat, Ian suggests swimming in the lake for a quick refresh. They have a great time together, freezing cold they return to the sauna. Michael now drunk, drags Renee before she is able to enter the room. He wants to have another passionate night, but she explains that she doesn't like seeing him in this condition. Disappointed, Michael heads for the bathroom. Back at the sauna, a loud noise like equipment falling is hurt, it seems that Michael must be very intoxicated and is fumbling around. Annoyed, Renee shouts out, telling Michael to control himself. But she refrains from stepping out to check on him. Ian attempts to calm Renee down, and advises her to forgive Michael. Still pissed off, Renee has a second thought and decides to check in on Michael. Strangely, Renee can't open the door, it seems to be stuck from the outside. Ian, assist her but the door won't budge. At this point, Jenna panics and urges her friends to let her out. Renee attempts to comfort her but her attempts fail. Jenna continues to be paranoid and regrets not taking her medication earlier. Thinking it could be one of Michael's pranks, Renee tells him to stop as she doesn't find it very funny. However, looking through the small window on the door, Renee doesn't see Michael anywhere. Ian tells Renee to stop yelling and moving as it can cause dehydration. They all believe that Michael will come back releasing them. They each take a drink of water waiting on Michael's return. Jenna thinks they should develop a plan to get out before everyone suffers a heat stroke, this confuses Renee. Ian explains that the body stops trying to cool itself and one will encounter dizziness, headaches, and vomiting, eventually passing out. Renee suggests turning off the controller, but Ian explains that it is attached outside, avoiding corrosion. At this moment, Jenna finds a thermostat but its location is on the other side of the door, there they could switch the heat off. However, Ian reveals that if they destroy it it might shut the heater off entirely, or worse it might make it even hotter. It doesn't seem worth the risk, Renee acts out of control and strikes the door attempting to get Michael's attention. Eventually, Ian manages to cool off a stone and attempts to break the thick window. At last he is successful but his hand is injured. Renee and Jenna take turns inhaling fresh air, a ladder seems to be wedged between the doors. While enjoying the cool air, Ian tells the girls that this is temporary. The drawback in breaking the window is that the thermometer will register cold air and turn the heat up to compensate. Just then, Ian uses the towels covering the rock trying to lift the ladder. However, his efforts are useless, the stone can't reach the ladder. 
Desperate, Renee thinks about smashing the thermometer, Ian objects, as he believes it would just increase the temperature, potentially up to 250 degrees. Jenna while gasping for air tries to calm Renee down. The two then argue blaming each other. Their fighting is interrupted when Ian spots something, he thinks that he can short out the light, hopefully blowing the fuse and stopping the heater, he then takes a bucket jamming it into the socket. Suddenly the light explodes and goes out electrocuting Ian. His approach doesn't work, it causes the lights the blackout, but the heater is still on. On the other hand, Wade and his colleagues work at a fireworks station for the festival, but his dog has a keen instinct. The dog went home alone and barked towards the sauna. Ian hears some noises outside and realizes it is the dog Bo. The trio burst into tears as they thought someone was there to help them. They shout loudly hoping Uncle Wade can hear them. The dog continues barking but due to the fireworks no one hears them. Next Bo which appears to be highly intelligent, runs to Wade and signals that he has found something. Wade finds the dog acting strangely as he hasn't stopped barking. As they arrived at the cabin, Michael runs into Wade, he explains that everyone left him alone on the couch and have already headed to the festival. Michael recalls waking up from his hangover, and no one was home. Michael writes thinking the trio might be at the party, but the guards reviews him as he has no ticket. Feeling sorry for Michael, Wade invites him to his house instead of waiting for his friends. The two get in the car and come and command Bo, seemingly reluctant to leave the cabin to follow them. The two talk about Wade's earlier idea of the sauna. Michael hardly remembers being there, when Wade reminds him, about how drunk he was. Returning to the sauna, tired of eating and running low on water, Renee insists on breaking the thermostat. Jenna tries to stop her but accidentally hits Renee with the rock. She collapses and becomes unconscious on the floor. Now, it's Jenna's turn to be terrified. She thinks Renee won't make it because she's bleeding so badly. Ian thought exhausted, consoles the girl and says Renee will be alright. Jenna starts freaking out and decides to break the controller herself. Which only increases the heat, as Ian previously warned. Ian begins crying knowing that Jenna's action has put an end to any hope that they have. At this point, Ian begins to act unusual as heatstroke is setting in. He laughs out loud and moves around the sauna scaring Jenna. In a second, Ian turns hysterical, holding the heater attempting to prevent it from increasing its temperature. In the end, the heater blows up killing Ian. Jenna finally escapes the sauna, she finds a bottle of water and guzzles the whole thing. Then she returns to her room and starts to cry in despair. Renee calls her name bringing her back to the sauna scene. It turns out Jenna was hallucinating from her womb, Ian's action causes them both serious injuries including gas poisoning from the broken heater. Jenna gains consciousness and brings Renee to the window for some fresh air, Jenna hangs Renee carefully with a towel so that she can breathe. Meanwhile, in the cabin Michael still doesn't realize that his friends are stuck in the sauna. He was drunk again and fell asleep. During this time, Jenna stops the gas from releasing, she lies on the floor coughing badly telling Renee that they are now safe. From here we will get an explanation as to why this event happened. Apparently, when Michael was drunk and wanted to make out with his girlfriend but was rejected, he threw things near the sauna door. Drunk. Michael kept a wooden ladder in front of the door which caused the sauna door to be unable to open. In the dead of the night, Wade finds the sauna area in a complete mess. Absolutely shocked he sees Renee's pale face on the other side of the door. The police and ambulance soon arrived at the cabin. Luckily, Renee and Jenna have remained alive. Michael cries blaming himself for what has happened, as the girls clinch onto their stretchers. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more video like this. Thanks for watching this video until the end, and see you in the next video.